children i am your math teacher jeevita and in this today's video you will be learning about polygons lesson number 3 before going to polygon let's see what's here you already have learned about shapes all these are shapes in shapes you have two types the first one is open shape the second one is closed shape in this if you see the first two they are not closed it is not completed so these type of shapes are called open shapes in the last two if you see they don't have any where or open space so this type of shapes are called closed shapes actually the lesson name is polygon and we are learning about shapes they both have something in common polygons are nothing but they are also shapes but polygons are shapes which are made up of only straight lines shapes with only straight lines so this is called polygon if you see in this this is and it should also be closed that is also important it should be closed and it should have only straight lines so if you see the closed figures here is this a polygon no because it is made up of curved lines so this is not a polygon if you take the second example it is closed and also made up of only straight lines so this is a polygon so what is polygon polygons are shapes with only straight lines and also one more condition for polygon is it should be closed shape so let me write the definition once again so polygon is a closed shape with only straight lines so this is the definition for polygons in polygons you have different types so first is polygon with three straight lines or you can also say three sides like this so you already know what is the shape it is a triangle now polygon with four sides so see here all are straight lines and it is closed and it has how many sides it has 1 2 3 4 4 sides so the shape or polygon with four sides is called quadrilateral quadri lateral and polygon with five sides are called pentagon like so how many sides it has 1 2 3 4 5 so polygon with five sides is called pentagon similarly polygon having six sides is called hexagon polygon with seven sides is called hexagon with eight sides octagon and nine sided figure is called nonagon and the tenth side is called decagon 
So children, I have written the names for polygons having different sides. In your textbook, in page number 101, you have a small activity here which have some fill in the blanks here. In some, you need to write the sides. In some, you have to write the names. So, please refer this and complete it. You can do it now itself. So, first one, they have given triangle. How many sides it has? Three sides. Triangle, three sides. Next one, quadrilateral, four sides. Quadrilateral, four sides. Pentagon, five sides. Hexagon, six sides. Heptagon, seven sides. Octagon, eight sides. Nonagon, nine sides. Decagon, ten sides. So these are the names of the polygons having different sides. Today, we will be learning about only few of it. Exactly to say, only the first two polygons. So, let us go in detail about the first two polygons. The first one is three-sided polygon. So, what is a three-sided polygon called? It is called triangle. So, this is a triangle. You know it already. And how do we name them? We write the letters at each vertex. So the points here are called vertex and the lines here are called sides. So it has one, two, three sides and it has one, two, three vertex. And then we also will learn how to name the sides and the vertex. So, uh, he said you have three sides. How to write the names of the sides? You have learned in the previous lesson geometry how to name the lines. Just like that. What is the name of this line? It is AB. So, first side is line AB. Second side, line BC. Third side, line CA or you can also write it as AC. This is how we name the sides. And then how do we name vertex? What is a dot? How do you name the dot? Just write dot A, dot B and dot C. And you also learned about angles in your previous lesson. Let's recall that. Where two lines meet, it makes an angle here. So how many angles do you have in this triangle? You have one, two, three angles. So you also know how to name the angles now. So let's name all the angles in the triangle. For naming them, you should draw a symbol. So I'm going to name first this B angle. So I should make sure B comes in the middle. The other two alphabets will be written beside that. So this is angle B. This angle. Now next I am going for C angle here. So C should be in the middle. And A and B beside C. And the next angle here is angle A. So A in the middle. C and B on the side. So I have written the angles also. So this is about all about the triangles. And now we'll go for next quadrilateral. So what do you mean by quadrilateral? Quadrilaterals are nothing but four-sided polygons are called quadrilateral. So, let me 
show you the figure for this is a quadrilateral because it has four sides even this is a quadrilateral and even this has four sides and this can also be a quadrilateral even this has four sides so even this is a quadrilateral so all these shapes are quadrilateral but you already know two of them it's very familiar that is a square and the rectangle so in details we'll be learning about square and rectangle before going for that let us learn in general about polygon so sorry quadrilateral so in quad four sided the figure quadrilateral same how you name the triangle which is meaning quadrilateral also like p q r s and one more thing i should mention here in triangle is you you name this right you name the vertex you also name the angle how should i name the whole thing triangle for that i have a symbol like small triangle and whatever alphabets are here i should go from one particular side like i start from a i go b and c i write a b c and on the symbol i write small l e so this is the name of the triangle i can write it from any starting point if i start from b it will be b c a this is also the same triangle but i have written it different way so both are equal just like that so to name this quadrilateral we will be drawing a small quadrilateral with le on the top and start from one and proceed to all the alphabets so i start from s p q r this is the name of this quadrilateral here now let us go for sides so just like how you mentioned the sides for triangle i can write the sides for this sp pq rq and sr these are the sides of this quadrilateral next we write vertex is just the points here that is s p q and r next the angle all these angles draw the angle symbol and i am starting from this so the angle which i take should be in the middle and the alphabet which is to its right and left should be written on its side so this is angle s which i have written next i am writing angle p p to be in the middle and the two letters which is to its right and left to be written next to it next angle q next angle r so i have mentioned all the angles here and one more particular thing you have in the quadrilateral is the diagonal so what do you mean by diagonal it is simply a straight line children but the straight line will always join from opposite side to its opposite part vertex like from point f to point q because they are the opposite right similarly i can join r and p so the line joining this opposite vertex in the quadrilateral is called the diagonal so how you name it how many diagonals you have 
two diagonals here. That diagonals are RP and SQ. So, this is in general about quadrilaterals. So, now I have finished explaining about the triangles and the quadrilaterals. I want you to take your textbook for my next explanation. You will be going to page number 103. And you can see activities here. You should name the side vertices and the diagonals in the given picture. So first let's just erase the board and all of you be ready with your pencils and write along with me. So I'm not going to draw the picture because you have it in your textbook. I'm going to write the answers for it. So you can see the picture is a rectangle and that is also a quadrilateral and I have asked you for sides. So how many sides you have? You have four sides and what are they? The first one I start from RQ, next is QP, PS and SR. These are the four sides in the given quadrilateral or rectangle. Next, they have asked you to write the vertex. So, there are four vertex, that is points. The four points are S, R, P and Q. The next is the diagonals. So, just now we learned what is diagonals. Diagonals are the lines which join the opposite vertices. So, in the given picture, you have diagonals SQ and PR. So, please write this in your textbook. Similarly, you have four square also and I want you all to try this in page number 103. So, we are clear about the quadrilaterals. Now we will be going on to the exercise 3.1. And I will be writing only answers on the board. Please write it in your textbook. So exercise 3.1. The first name. They have asked you to write open for open figure or open shape. Closed for closed shapes. I will be writing only the first two. First one, you can see there is an open there. So it is an open shape. Second one, there is nothing open there. So it is closed shape. And the other three I want you to try. And the D one, if you feel difficult, I am giving you the answer. It is closed shape. Now second name. It is choose the correct answer. I am reading the question. Please look at the test book. A polygon having all four sides equal. Means you have four sides and all the four sides are equal. So the shape is called square. So which is the correct option there? It is option B square. So please tick option B. Second question, a polygon having three sides. What is the name of the polygon having three sides? It is called triangle. So the option C is the right answer. The third one, a simple closed figure having no line segment. So we are seeing a simple closed shape which doesn't have lines. So it is completely a curved one. And the options here are trapezium, parallelogram or a circle. Trapezium, I show you the shape children. Trapezium will have a shape like this. And parallelogram will have a shape like this. 
and in this question it is clearly mentioned there is no line there is no straight line so the first two options are not correct only one option which is left is the third one that is circle yes that doesn't have a straight line at all and the fourth one a polygon having two pair of op opposite sides equal so in this options are rectangle square and triangle so in rectangle if you see this and this sides are equal and this and this sides are equal so you have two two pairs of sides equal the first option rectangle is the answer for the fourth one so i hope i have cleared all the concepts in the lesson polygon and by this we finish this chapter children any doubts please ask me in the interactive session and make sure you complete your textbook and show me in the interactive session thank you children bye bye